Hello, this is Cam from Pulse Cardiac Health, and in this video I'm going to be talking about a treatment called chelation therapy. Now, chelation therapy is a treatment that has been used for a, a number of years for heavy metal poisoning. So if you have lead poisoning or mercury poisoning, um, chelation is the treatment of choice. And basically what, what it is, is you have an IV um, and they inject a medication through the IV and so it's circulating throughout our bodies has a big long name, we'll call it EDTA. And what it does is, is it binds to these metals and they go to our kidneys and we, our kidneys clear them out and we pee them into the toilet and they're gone. So it's great for overdoses uh, or poisoning of, of heavy metals. Now the theory with heart disease is that um, this medication can be used to draw calcium out of the plaque in our arteries. Now, our plaques are made up of, of cholesterol and fat, and also often there's calcium deposits in, in, these, in these plaque deposits, and that's how they make them hard, or atherosclerotic and hardening of the arteries. And so the theory is this, if you put this medication in and it circulates around, it pulls the calcium out of those deposits, and same way it gets cleared out through our kidneys. So treatments for coronary artery disease or any atherosclerotic disease, whether it's in your legs or your neck, um, happen not sort of on one occasion. What they do is they, is they bring you in and you have 30 minutes of, of a treatment and then you do it weekly uh, for a number of weeks. And um, it has been used as a treatment for atherosclerosis. It's never really been shown to so far to be um, a first-line treatment or a rec recommended treatment. Um, one research suggests it might be positive and might be looking um, like it is, could be a possible treatment for certain, certain individuals or certain populations of people. Um, so as more studies come out, it may become a mainstream um, treatment, but now it's not, and it's not recognized by cardiologists um, and um, the big associations that it is a recommended treatment. So the, one of the reasons that chelation isn't really recommended as well, not that it didn't, it hasn't shown much benefit, that's number one, but also that there are some definite risks to chelation therapy. Um, during the procedure itself, you, you can have problems with the IV because of the medication. You can get fevers, headaches, nausea and vomiting. Um, so those are quite common um, symptoms that people have during the treatments. But also, it can be very, very hard on our bodies overall. So we can get a very large drop in our calcium levels, um, and we can also get a, quite a large drop in our blood pressure. So that could be quite serious. Um, we also, it can play havoc with, with our bone marrow and different um, processes in our body, can lead to heart failure which our heart becoming weak can lead to kidney failure because of our kidneys trying to clean all this stuff out and it can lead to death. So there are some definite risks to chelation. It's not something that I would rush out and go and do. If you really feel like this is something you want to pursue, you absolutely need to talk to your doctor first because there are so many other factors to consider, not just, not just the plaque in your arteries, but all of these other factors because of how hard it can be on our bodies. So, so as of now, chelation is not a mainstream treatment. It is not recommended. Um, it has been possibly looked at as an alternative and, and with, through more research, we may find that it's good for certain populations. Um, and definitely talk to your doctor if you're if you're considering it. Don't rush off and get it this done without them knowing, because you could cause yourself some some very bad damage. So, I hope you found this uh, information helpful, and we will talk again another time. Thank you.